So the next match uh, we're going to talk about is going to be Kurt Angle's farewell match at WrestleMania coming up against Baron Corbin. Now, what do we have to say about this one? Obviously, this is the match that we believe could change. Um, if not this week on programming, then uh, certainly by WrestleMania itself um, on the night. In Kurt Angle's match, regardless of who his opponent is going to be, be it Baron Corbin or John Cena, what I want to see personally from Kurt Angle's last match, last ever in-ring match on the grandest stages of them all, you've got, you've got to remember where it is and who it's going to be against. I want to see everything Kurt Angle has in this last match and I predict that we're going to see some incredible spots, especially if it's against Cena. I think we're going to see some incredible spots like the spot where Kurt nips up, heads up to the top rope and um, throws him, does a belly to throw, a, be a belly throw um, from the top rope. I think we're going to see that spot and um, I'd also like to see Kurt Angle take on a moonsault and land it. I really would, and I think Kurt would want to do that in his last ever match as well. Obviously it depends on his ability at this stage in his career. But I think it's a possibility and it's something that is just going to really, really bring out the best in the crowd if, if we just see all that old school Kurt Angle stuff um, during this match. <sighs> right, let's pretend that it is going to be Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. Obviously, terrible match. Um, terrible amount of interest going in. It's probably lacking a lot of interest. Um, for the match itself but obviously we've heard the rumors of john cena and stuff um replacing baron corbin in this match so in a funny kind of way that's flipped the switch a little bit and it's actually garnered a lot more interest in this Kurt angle farewell match obviously the fans were very very disappointed with the announcement that it was baron corbin and then funnily enough Kurt Angle has been on this farewell tour and he's been facing people that are a million times more interesting than Baron Corbin heading into this match. Obviously, Kurt's been picking his own opponents, we hear, um, on this farewell tour. So he's picking guys like Rey Mysterio, Samoa Joe, um, AJ Styles, like really top opponents that are just... Uh, they just blow Baron Corbin out of the water, unfortunately. Um... So that's my, I do believe it's going to be changed from Baron Corbin and I hope that it is changed to John Cena from Baron Corbin. Um, so let's, anyway, let's pretend that it is going to be Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin. Kurt is a guy that will want to go out on his back. Will he want to do that to Baron Corbin? I'm not sure. I don't think so. So if it's Kurt Angle versus Baron Corbin, I am 100% backing Kurt Angle to win his farewell match against Baron Corbin. Uh, the heat Baron Corbin will get alone at WrestleMania will do wonders for his momentum and his, um, his character anyway, so he doesn't need to win that match at all. Yeah, I mean, just to add to that, a couple of small points. I mean, I think I really do agree with a lot of what you said. I, I especially agree that he should pull all the old moves out. 100% I do. Um, yeah, what I think is going to happen is he's going to run through Baron Corbin in quick fashion because, as you said, Baron Corbin doesn't need to win to still be a heel. In fact, he gets more heat if he somehow tries to justify his loss, saying that he wasn't ready or you know, heelish crap like that. So I think Kurt Angle runs through Baron Corbin in quick fashion. Um, even if you just get Baron Corbin to be distracted so that you protect him a little bit. Um, and then, yeah, I, you know, I'm going to go out on a limb and agree with you and say that, yeah, someone like John Cena, you know, hopefully John Cena, you know, not just someone like him, hopefully it is John Cena, um, comes out and, and they have a good match. And, and Kurt Angle gets retired by, yeah, by someone like, you know, like a Shawn Michaels Flair thing. I think Angle Cena could be like that story you know someone who's pretty great putting you out you know of your career instead of someone who's not as good uh like baron corbin right next match up uh, another grudge match and it's roman reigns versus drew mcintyre roman reigns is back um after defeating cancer and he is going one-on-one -on -one against drew mcintyre so this match is billed as roman reigns's um first match back one-on-one -on -one against the top opponent this match is really interesting because these two guys are really top guys drew is going to have an amazing year drew just keep getting bigger and better every week um his style is fantastic his character is fantastic his promos are really really strong um so the storytelling in this match is just going to be a really 
good brutal match I think between these two men and it's, it's really hard to choose this one I'm not sure who to pick I'd probably pick Drew McIntyre in my, my heart says Drew McIntyre for the win um, but we know what we know what WWE are like with Roman Reigns especially at Wrestlemania but yeah so if they if they have the guts to do it I would go Drew McIntyre and uh, he's my pick to win that one not much else to say on that one just looking forward to the match Drew McIntyre is doing a, uh, a really good job of just being a despicable heel and just being so unlikable uh, and, a, and a bully really takes you back to sort of school bullies um, yeah so you really feel for, for Roman on this one this is the perfect heel uh, for Roman to be facing I see your point about that, 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 that Drew should win but I think even if I think maybe Roman should take the W get back on track momentum wise and then you know even if Drew after that just you know beats him up after the match maybe we have another sort of run in with uh, Dean Ambrose coming to, to, to protect Roman maybe this is the last thing Dean Ambrose does uh, before he goes away um, yeah I'm gonna go Roman on this one so that leads us nicely into the main event matches now then. Um, so first up, we're going to speak about the WWE Championship match, Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston. Kofi is finally getting his shot at the WWE title. Much deserved after 11 years. He is a fantastic wrestler. Um, uh, he, he just garners a lot of attention, a lot of interest. Um, his matches are great. His in-ring style is phenomenal. He, he, really, he really knows the psychology of a match. Um, and of course, look who he's going against, Daniel Bryan. So these two are going to put on a really, really strong, good show at, at Mania. I mean, look at the matches they've had already. Um, they've just been really good. And Kofi Kingston is heading in, having pinned Daniel Bryan at least twice. Yeah, Kofi's got all the momentum. Obviously, the storyline itself, look at how it's leading. It's leading, it's that, under, it's that whole underdog story. Kofi is just uh, coming out on top the same way Daniel Bryan did back in 2014. Um, I have to pick Kofi for the win on this one. I just have to pick Kofi for the win. Daniel Bryan's the heel. Kofi's got the momentum. Even if they just give it to him for two nights and he's beaten for it on SmackDown, obviously that's not great, but I think Kofi just deserve, deserves that mania moment and the crowd deserves to see that mania moment and just imagine the the emotion on the night of Kofi winning his first his first title. They, it really will blow the roof off the place um, at, Met, at MetLife Stadium. And so I have to give Kofi Kofi the win on that one, and I really do hope they they go through with that. Yeah, Kofi should win, and I know what people are saying. You know, three baby faces to come out on top on WrestleMania because you know we also expect Rollins to win, and we expect Becky to win, which we'll get into in a second. But if there's any place you can do that, it's WrestleMania. If there's any place you can do the happy ending thing, even if, like we said, all, you know, all the title runs up and it'll have to bump each other, maybe Kofi does get screwed out of it. And maybe even a heel turn with New Day, which, which people are talking about as well, could very much be possible. Um, I'm going to go Kofi on this one. Yeah, he has been phenomenal. And if you weren't sure on him before, I think he's really stepping up his game with these heartfelt promos. I mean, we've always known he had what it, take, what it takes uh, in the ring. Uh, now he's stepping up on the microphone. Of course, he has his new day in the past couple of years. And it's a really good time to be the new day, uh, especially because, I, in my opinion, they were getting very stale, um, kind of a jump the shark type situation, in my opinion. And I think this is the perfect thing for them to go out on, because they're not stale right now. So for them, Kofi to win the title and maybe get turned on by the new and Xavier and that is what should happen and that is how the new day should end in my opinion so I'm going to say Kofi you never know with WWE but let's let's be positive Kofi Kingston is your WWE 